got that for me, though? I'm broke today, yo. Magazine. Well, me to the queen, what's up? And we with the man, respect your jaw, mister. Oh, he came mister for money and violence. That's uh -huh. good. And we about to get into these questions. We're going to learn about, you know, the movement, money and violence, and how he's filling in. What's his next move and all that? When did you start getting into acting? Oh, um, really? Really, it was, it was accidental, like a long time ago, like about 10 years ago, I went to BMCC, I was just walking the halls, and um, a director, his name was Alizé at the time, um, saw me walking, going to my next class, and he was like, you want to play Tupac? on some notorious B.I.G. play. And I was like, sure, why not? And he gave me the script. I couldn't believe it, so I went home to Mo. I was like, the script was like this thick, I kid you not. I went to Mo, I was like, yo, they asked me to play Tupac, son. <laughs> yo, I, I need help. <laughs> like, I can't mess up Tupac. <laughs> okay. I was smaller than that then, so. Studied every day, every day, every day, every day. Went to his crib after school, and I got the script right, done right. I mean, um, I, well, they auditioned me, then I, I got the script work done right, did the play, it was successful. I'll never forget it, Puffy was supposed to be there, but he couldn't be there because of that shoot up with Sean, so they didn't allow him in school. I remember that. Okay. King Lupin is supposed to like to know who you are and what do you do? Uh, I'm a personal trainer. Um, I'm also a promoter. I used to uh, I used to be a performer, an exotic, exotic, male exotic dancer back in the days. So I keep it real. Um, you doing your thing, huh? I was doing some numbers, some serious <laughs> numbers. Ladies love you. Yeah. So uh, I was always a worker. I was always a hard worker. I didn't. I ain't, I didn't get stuck into the street life. So how did you meet um, Moses? From the neighborhood. We're from the same neighborhood, we knew each other. And, you know, we got cool. And we stayed cool. Right. So we've been like tight for the longest. Walk us through the process of acting on the scene or what you do when you're doing the shoot. Damn, that's 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 <laughs> crazy. Like I still think about it till today, like he write the script. He knew I, I, I'm already good at memorizing lines and then turning into a character. So he gave me the book. I was like, all right, you know what? You know I'm going to do it to the T. <laughs> so I would read it and I, I don't know. For some reason, I just transformed to a character. It's not like a specific character he wanted. It's just like, I just transformed. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I, it's like I, I, all the bullies that I know mm. from my neighborhood, from all the way from Philly. <laughs> so, like, see, like, uh, what do they call that? Beanie Seagull Broadway bully. Yeah, Broad Street Broad, Broad Street bully. Yeah. Like, uh, I, you know, I got, I got, I got a feed off of all, all those type of bullies that's out there. So, okay. I was able to f transform into. Take a little Debo, take a little Philly. You know yeah. What I mean? It's Debo coming, huh? <laughs> it's Mr. now. Nah, nah, nah. Mr. Debo. Mr.'s coming, man. He's coming. Um, what's your nationality and where are you originally from? 
I'm Haitian American. Um, born Flatbush, born and raised. Mm -hmm. So right in that area. Church yeah. Avenue. Church Avenue. Oh, I'm on East 18. East 18 between Albemarle and Beverly, and then East East 19. But originally. Well, they call it Flatbush Gardens now. They change it. Uh, Vanderveer Projects. Yes. I was from the Vir, so that's where I grew up from. I was so bad. Like, you know, I was real bad. Like, I got kicked out of every school around that neighborhood. What were you doing? So bad that they, they sent me to Philly and I graduated out of high school in Philly. Came back. Mm. So, it was bad that area. There's a lot of, like, Americans didn't really like Haitians. was getting into fights. Wherever was that? This was like, woo, 80s, oh. the 80s, the, the, the mid 80s to the early 90s. In season one, you were getting piggyback rides. <laughs> I wasn't getting piggy piggyback <laughs> rides. Was... He was getting a piggyback rides. King, King. Yeah. All right, that scene right there, I did not want to do. I <laughs> honestly tell you, me and Mo. Argued for four weeks. I was so mad when he asked me to do that. I was like, "You mean give a nigga a piggyback <laughs> ride, yo? What? What?" I was like, "Nope." I said, "Kill me off episode four. I don't want to play no more. You're playing too much." <laughs> so why should we expect? <laughs> then, so why should we expect in season two then? I don't know. I don't know about season two. I don't know if I'm in it. I don't know. I don't know. I support season two. Ah. I'm glad I was a part of season one. How about that? Okay, okay, okay. Did you ever meet or speak to the real mister from Flatbush? Um, actually, yo, you know what's so crazy? I live around that neighborhood all my life. I never bump into that nigga. And like, mad people tell me, you, you seen that nigga before. I'm like, I never seen him like in action like that because I was always in school anyway and working but okay. I'm like I bumped into like later on as the show got so popular and I'm out there promoting my parties I bumped into his nephew okay he was like yo look this is a picture with me and my uncle I was like oh shit it is a real mister I ain't gonna lie I used to see him knock people out for real though he used to have us um Put the gloves on and he used to let us fight and make everybody fight and all that so it was Bro? definitely yeah he he's a one hit a quitter one hit a quitter i'm not gonna lie to see them put guys on their backs yo like i heard the stories like two I, <laughs> I, i'm not ruining season two you know what i'm saying but yo yeah, me stories, and Red Cafe know about him. Red, Red know about him. Oh, I heard about that one too. I heard he knocked Red, Red Cafe out. I mean, Red came back though. Oh, word. Red came back. So what do you want to accomplish through this successful platform you're creating for yourself? Oh, man. Uh, this, this platform opening a lot of doors, making me meet a lot of new promoters, making me meet a lot of different people who can manage me. Um, hopefully get more acting acting roles out there. That's what I'm looking for, more acting roles. Okay. Continue working, you know. Okay. Who were your major influences in your life? My major influence? Yes. Mommy, oh. daddy, somebody. <laughs> who, 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 who made you who you are instead of being Mr. Who instilled you with the morals and the respect and always told you to stay on that right path of going to school instead of being in the streets since you said you wasn't in the streets? I got a whole bunch of people like that 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 was a major influence in my life. Like, I got my cousins, my older cousin James influenced me into, you know, the positive path in my uh music wise, I could tell you, hmm. We could go down to Biggie, mm. Jay, influence, like, you know, keep my, 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 my level of positivity out there. Okay. And know that you could do it. You can make it from okay. nothing to something, basically. Definitely. You're definitely doing your numbers and making your moves, you know? Yeah. So what do you enjoy the most about acting? What do you enjoy about it? It's like... What I enjoy about it, it's, 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 it's everyday life though. It's like every day we're, we're acting. So it's like, it's everyday life. When you go into an interview, you gotta act a certain way in an interview, right? Yeah. You know, it's everyday life acting, everyday life. 
And what's your biggest goal and tell us how you accomplished it? My biggest goal for this project was to make it worldwide known. But I think I OD. I got all these little kids saying, respect your jaw. <laughs> like, I, I think I, I, think I kind of OD. But yeah, um, actually, yeah, that, that was my goal to like to be recognized. Yeah, like, so people could know you. Yeah, that shit is like, yeah, that shit happened. Man, what the fuck? Oh, shit. You know, you got the kids following you and, and, and repeating your thing. You made it, That's man. what's up. That's what's up. Yo, for real. That is what's up. You like, mean, that man. shit just, like, shocked me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting hit up in the gram with little baby saying, what's big me do? Like, that's <laughs> crazy. Like, who does that? Social media is that platform, man. And y'all definitely took, took it by storm. It took y'all, what, almost two years to get this? A year? Actually, it blew up in six months. Woo. That was fast. We didn't expect it. We didn't see it coming. None of us saw it coming. None of us. None of us. Even the writer, we didn't see it coming. Mm. Shout out to Mo. Mo and the family, man. You know, Flatbush, we had Ray, 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 Ray Day 9, you know, Ty, B, B Molly, you know, we had. <laughs> The babies. That's the baby say, Mom. I don't even know none of them. I thought you were saying like little little kids. No, little babies. Little babies. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's crazy, man. So, what was the most negative situation you've been in, and how did you overcome it? The most negative situation I've been in in life, like in general, mm -hmm. getting married. <laughs> Why? Why do you feel that? Yo, that. I'm glad I'm out of that situation. <laughs> wow, maybe it's a good thing. Yeah, why? I, I want to know. For that's some people, that's a, that. To me, that was a crisis. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> being signed not to just one major company, but two. How does that change things for you and your in your brand? The Yo, team? what? Yo, let me tell you something. Let's hear this. Let's hear this. When he said Lion Gates, it was over. My my ego went to the top. I was like, what? Everybody's stars now. Everybody's a star on that show. Season two is nothing but stars. Shout out to Lion Gates. <laughs> Shout out to Lion Gates. And Shout title. out to Jay Z with title. Good luck and salute, Rock Nation. You may know the whole V. Yo, that 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 that's all Mo right there. That's that's all Mo. That's all Mo. Shout out to him. <laughs> Mo Mo. <laughs> Word. Cloud9 TV, support it. You know what I mean? Catch that cloud. Welcome to the old Brooklyn. Huh? Yeah, all that. Yeah, Mo and C Styles. <laughs> C Styles. C Styles. Give him, give him his recognition. You hear that, C? So we heard you come back. Can you spit some balls for us? Right sound now, like? Right. Yeah, sound like. Oh, give us something for the camera. Sound like. <laughs> nah. You want me to spit some balls? Spit something. Let me hear something. I'm working on some 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 new projects dealing with uh, the the crew cold hearted. They're gonna send me some beats. Um, I'm gonna do some hot shit. So I like to I like to write. I'm very creative. So okay. when 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 I, I do some new projects, I'll spit the next time. Next time. Keep watch, Bye. man. <laughs> Heard he got them balls though. They told me he got them balls. Be Molly and the Zoga told me he got some balls, man. <laughs> So how would you describe art, music, entertainment if no one has ever seen or heard about it? Listen to this story briefly, right? When we first started Money and Violence, right? And I, I saw the vision when we did episode one. I was like, yo, I killed it, <laughs> right? As we was out there, and this happened word of mouth. No flyers, no, no nothing. It just blew on, it, on its own. When we was telling people in the beginning, there was like money and violence. I was like, yo, go check it out. I don't want to watch something that I go through every day. Oh, man, when we blew, can I get down? <laughs> nah, nah, I try to explain it to them. It was real tough to get, get people through to watch the show. So, yeah, it, thanks to all the fans for, for, for supporting us. The supporters, definitely the supporters. And the donation. Y'all keep complaining about where the donation went, yo. Lion Gates, all right? 
Holla at us. That's where that money went. Y'all acting like they didn't put that money up. They put that bread up. So y'all support it. This is what happens. <laughs> know what I mean? Lion Gate y'all got want it. Better, y'all want better production? Here you go. See y'all 2016. No January. more one camera in the mic. No more. <laughs> that was suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's true that you're a fitness trainer. And how long have you been into that? Oh, I've been like... Me, like, I used to play basketball, football, and that was my thing, basketball, football. So I've always been working out since since, since I was uh, like 16. I ain't gonna tell you my age, I'm 99. But yeah, <laughs> I've been working out for over 18 years and being a trainer, about two years. And yo, that certificate was hard, taking that test. Whoa, it was hard and long, but yeah, I, I, I passed it. So, you know, I'm a certified trainer. You can holler at me, 347-546-2166. I privately train you. I hear that? Get your weight up. I mean, any special actors you should expect in season two? I tell you, I, that one, that one, you'll just see. That's all I can say. You're making somebody respect their job. Right. You know I got yo. They bring a famous actor on there or whatever. <laughs> yo, and Mo writes that script between me and you. I'm gonna savage it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give that new whoever famous. He ain't gonna know what to do when he sees me. <laughs> Word. If I'm in season two, but let. But go ahead. Do you feel like all the effort you put in is now paying off it's for your future? Yo, it's like, yo, it's crazy that you, you ask that. Like, I look at it every day, like, wow. Like, all these people, all these free clothes, all these, I'm grateful for it. For all y'all designs, mailing me free clothes and knowing that I'm going to wear it to sponsor your stuff. It's just, yeah, a lot, a lot of life changing. Getting girls is no freaking problem now. Like, yo, thank you, Mo. I walk outside, yo. I, I, I'm guaranteed like 15 numbers. Guaranteed. Like, I walk outside. They be looking at me like they starstruck. I'm like, yo, I'm just regular. Like, I'm like, fuck you. You gonna give me a number? Fine. Hey. Fine. The ladies love you, huh? Yeah. That's a life changer right there. You to like know that? you gonna get up. All you gotta do is <laughs> cut your hair. And you know damn well, like, now my life changed. Like, before it was like, you go outside. Nobody would like. Nobody would like yeah. give you that, that, that attention. I just yeah. keep, all, all those rude Brooklyn <laughs> bad girls turn soft when they see me, y'all. So they now like, you speak French and they just milk? Yo, I just say I just say respect your jaw and they just drop. How you say it in French? How you say they feel? Respect your jaw, Luke. Oh, <laughs> one more. Oh, you Haitian? Yeah. Oh See? shit. We got some of that here. Oh shit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they stick that, did mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. So, what? what advice would you give the generation out there since you came from? It? All right. Um. This is the advice I want to give the generation out there. Look, everything in, in that show is a lot of messages, and you can see that we, it, it's all about faith and having a good crew with the same faith as you. And, and believe in yourself. Always believe in yourself, and you can make it. You can make it, trust me. And anything that you do, you want to master in it, you can master it and, and make it. Like, Another thing, I'm an audio engineer, so I went to school for that too. So, doing music and everything. You got YouTube tutorials. Back in the days, I mean, <laughs> had none of that. I had none of that. Now it's like YouTube teach you how to do anything. So, anything is possible. Okay. Just stay off the. Stop. Stop using the gun to shoot, man. Use the camera. What the hell's wrong? What do you think the youth? What they doing today? Like killing each other, not being productive. Could they actually last in the old book? Old Brooklyn? Oh my God. Bodies everywhere. Well, my era, I'm from the project, so. I seen it. I seen it. That's how bad it was, so I don't know. These, it's different right now. It's, it's bad, and but it's not as bad as our era. Right. Like, like, it was real bad around my era. These, they, kids got a little easier, you know. They stay at home. I, on the internet, well now they on the internet, so I don't know. I don't even know what these kids are doing now. 
Like, I know my era, it was hooky parties. Like, I don't know, they don't do hooky parties no more. So, I don't know, man. Like, daytime parties in the club, I don't think you remember. I know you from that era around my, my neighborhood. All those hooky parties, man. How the hell did I graduate out of high school? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember anything I learned. <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of new stuff that these kids are learning that True. the little kids, like, new math and, like, I'm out of the loop on that one. <laughs> it's okay. You just gotta just push your mind so you won't get it, though. You feel me? It's nothing. Uh, it's nothing. Um, so what makes you different from any other um, upcoming artists in New York? What makes me different? Yeah. What makes me different is that I'm a part of a project that created its own lane. So, you're always gonna remember me for something that blew up from nothing. You're always gonna remember me. I have my own lane. Like, like Mo made me my own star. Like, I got my own million of viewers. So, Oh, Quentin Tarantino, yeah, that's my dude, yo. I want to do a, 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 a skit, man. Give me a, give me a, give me a script. <laughs> Word. I got my own following, yo. So that's what's that's what's different for me. Like, there's a lot of actors, but they have no followers. So now I have followers. I got sponsors and endorsement. I know y'all on y'all way. So anything. Anything, anywhere I go, my followers is gonna, they're gonna go. If I'm in the movies, they're gonna go pay that movie to watch me. So shout out to all my supporters. Supporters. Um, so that's what makes me kind of different from everybody else. Okay, that's cool. We definitely heard about the loss that the family took. The boy Yah, the boy Yah, you know. Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Yah, you know. He was definitely a great one in the money and violence family. Flatbush Church Avenue, all got rolled. How did y'all overcome that? That was, it was just so recent, but. Yo, I, I mean, I really don't want to like discuss it too much, I but when that happened, shit, I didn't come out for three weeks, real talk. For three weeks, I didn't work out, I had to wait and all that, so I don't like, it was, a, it was something that, you know, everybody took. Everybody took that. Everybody took that. Yeah. So everybody handled it in their own way. So I kept it like I'm staying in the house. I'm not coming outside. That's some shit. But you know, we gonna make it bigger. Definitely for him, for the homie. Mm -hmm. yeah. RPI. Um. So. Yeah. Definitely, that's a moment right there. Yeah. Hit him. So would you donate anything to King Soup if we asked you to? Donate what? Of course I would. Like clothes. Get back to the kid. Not even the clothes, as in just if we do an event, you know what I'm saying? You definitely just speak a word, we do panels and stuff like that, just give back to the community. As in, we definitely see your no bullying flyer. So we have a bullying event, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, okay. No, which one? No, that's the Stop the Brutality. Sorry, Stop the Brutality. Yes. That's police Stop the Brutality. Yeah, we need that. We need police that. Police Brutality. No, stop it. Stop that, police. It's not good at hitting on people and shooting people. And why y'all mad at Quentin Tarantino? <laughs> he ain't doing nothing. He's just speaking his opinion. I need him. L.A. Stop it, L.A. <laughs> You can follow me at Audwin Matthew, A-U-D-W-I-N, as my first name and last name, on Facebook or on Instagram. You could follow me at Venom718, V-E-N-O-M-718. Okay. So, this, is there anything else you want to say? Any closing thoughts? I want to say it like this, right? <laughs> yeah, I want to say it like this. Y'all promoters, just treat me right. I ain't gonna charge y'all an arm and a leg. Um, yo, oh yeah, my ski trip is coming up, February 19th to the 21st. Come out, enjoy yourself. Young Jeezy's gonna be performing. Get y'all rooms. You should see the flyer on my page. It's gonna be the dopest ski trip ever. And don't forget. Ms. Birthday Party, November 14th. Check it, it's on my page, Ms. Birthday Party. No, um, it's on 42nd Street, I know that for sure, in the city. Um, Zogar got something in Connecticut. 
Definitely that is the same uh-huh. day. So basically, we got a whole lot of events coming, yo. A whole lot, a whole lot more coming. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing tours too, man. I know there's a lot of places that ain't reached us yet that wanna see us. We'll be there. We will be there. Shout out to all y'all too, man, out there. Mm. Our number one fan is Australia. Wow. Australia? Yeah. International? International, yeah. I like that sound real good. Damn, Lion Gates is gonna have us all over the world. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this has been a pleasure, you know. The King Malik. With Midi the Queen. And the boy. Mr. Mr. Yeah. King's Loop Magazine. Respect your job. Hashtag so loopy, man. Follow us, man. You already know. Thank you, Kingsburg Community College, the Honors Club. We definitely did something. This has been a loopy event, man. Keep supporting us. We love y'all. That boy Slump, man. Shout you already slump. know. We here. Yo, where my slump at, yo? <laughs> you gotta hit him up, Slump. You better give him a slump. What size you want? A large. Alright, Slump. We need him a large. He needs that. He asked for it. Give it to him. You dig? Hashtag salute you, hashtag respect your joke. You already know, hashtag title, hashtag Lion Gates. Deuces. Young trippy nigga who be getting that dope. Smoking that dope, doing these shows. Plus a back key like the other two pole when you don't even know. I got these problems, got these voices in my